MDS, myelodysplastic syndrome. A Medical Story by Raymond W. Malice. There are many health aspects that individuals live with every day. They do not have to if they understand what opportunities are available to change the outcome. After today's presentation, you should be able to recognize and deal with the symptoms of an ever-increasing and insidious disease called myelodysplastic syndrome. Your quality of life can be improved with today's miracles of medicine. Many existing and promising drugs can improve one's daily life. It is abundantly evident that the elderly may be suffering unnecessarily from the symptoms of MDS and not realize it. If you are armed with knowledge of the disease, you can face the problems head on and deal with them. First, it is important to know the literal translation of the name Myelodysplastic Syndrome, MDS. Utilizing plain English will help you to understand it. Every one of us has a very important part of our bones called marrow. When it functions normally, we are unaware of it doing its healthy job. When the marrow malfunctions, we experience health problems. The term dis is the medical profession's way of saying something has become a medical liability. The marrow is abnormal or unhealthy. The portion called plastic is another way the medical profession has chosen to substitute for the word growth. The word syndrome is a fancy medical term used to mean unknown. By combining these unusual medical terms and translating them into everyday English it means abnormal or unhealthy growth of the bone marrow. There are five distinct types of MDS that can affect us, some more serious than others. Each type has a different deleterious effect on our bodies and the global universe of individuals affected by each type varies. RA stands for refractory anemia. 25% of those diagnosed with MDS suffer from this type of the disease. Many of you may have heard the term tired blood. Years ago there was an over-the-counter medication called Geritol, which was probably little more than an iron supplement. RARS stands for refractory anemia with sideroblasts. There is another 15% of the universe suffering from this type, and I am among this group. I was diagnosed with the disease on November 8, 2005. Patients with excess blasts, RAEB, approximate 35% of the total, and RAEB-T, 15%, fall into that group who are transforming to a more serious stage. Chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. Here we have the most serious type of MDS. About 10% have it. Considering the total spectrum, MDS has the potential to develop into a full-blown case of leukemia. The marrow doesn't stop making cells, it makes fewer and the cells don't perform as they should. This condition leads to the symptoms of MDS. Our bone marrow produces five different cells. 
However, most of us are probably familiar with the cell names, but we do not know what each cell type does during its short lifespan. Let's explore this phenomenon. Stem cells divide to make more of themselves in addition to blasts. This cell type is one of the more well-known cells since the news media never fails to tout the unproven capability of stem cells to cure the serious diseases. Its overall bodily function is probably at the top of our priority list. Why? We depend upon stem cells to generate other life-sustaining cells. Immature blast cells mature into red and white cells or platelets. Blasts are important cells that embark on a path to produce any of these three cells as our body needs. It's when they fail to mature and form the current balance of the three required cells that we suffer from the symptoms of MDS. Red cells, or hemoglobin, have a lifespan of four months and carry oxygen to our muscles and organs. White cells fight infections and survive for only one week. If red cells fail to survive for its programmed lifespan, or they do not reach the necessary quantity, we will experience shortness of breath and constantly feel tired. As you can see, constant and proper cell regeneration is critical. Platelets survive for only two weeks. New and abundant platelets are an important blood component that prevent us from bleeding to death. Some facts about MDS worth knowing. Four of five patients do not know what caused it. One of five caused by other disease treatments. MDS is not contagious, nor is it passed through heredity. And a shocker, few doctors recognize MDS symptoms. What are the signs and symptoms of MDS? Low red blood counts, which are tracked as hemoglobin. You're always tired, weak, and have shortness of breath. Low white blood counts, infections that never seem to go away. Low platelets, you bruise and bleed for no apparent reason. Bleeding is usually noticed as both frequent nosebleeds and bleeding gums. Try putting together two and two. How is MDS diagnosed? Let's cover the initial but simple blood test first. A vial of blood is taken from your arm and analyzed. The name of this simple test is CBC, standing for complete blood count. Each element of our blood reveals telltale signs, which can signal problems or disclose normalcy. Bone marrow aspiration and biopsy. A bone marrow sample is removed from your hip. This step involves a small amount of pain. The procedure takes about 15 minutes. The sample of marrow is broken into several specimens, put on glass slides, and sent to a laboratory for analysis and diagnosis. This type of work is usually performed under the supervision of a hematologist or blood doctor. Why should you do cytogenetic testing? Normal body cells contain 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. People with MDS are missing chromosomes 5 and 7 or they have an extra chromosome 8. Cytogenetic testing takes about three weeks to complete. The result of this testing generates a numerical score 
that helps the hematologist compare your results with those of all known sufferers of MDS to determine your long-term prognosis.